So when we check for nailing, we're looking at the edges, that these are six inch centers going up the edge. We're looking at a seam here where two plywoods butt together, that they're at six inch centers. Well, our construction inspections start from ground up. We come in and we verify that what we've asked them to do on the set of plans and what specifications they have to meet on those plans and per the build. So we come in and we look at to make sure that the building's square before they put any flooring on it. And then we double check all their nailing on their floor decking. Once they get that done, they set their corner posts and then we come back in and we verify that all their corner posts are plumb before they run their roof system on it. We always inspect nailing on everything. So when we check for nailing, we're looking at the edges, that these are six inch centers going up the edge. We're looking at a seam here where two plywoods butt together, that they're at six inch centers. And then anything in the field, the field would be anything not a seam, those need to be eight to 10 inches uh, on center. We explained to them that if they put them at seven inches instead of eight or nine instead of 10, that's better. Then we know for sure the nailing's all in. Then as you can see at every stud, we want to nail within an inch and a half of the edge of the plywood and then they start their centers past that. So see how these are really counter Just throw a few extra nails in if you see them real deep. Like some of these are perfect. We have problems with some of our guns setting them a little deep. Um, this building actually looks pretty good. We don't have a lot of deep set nails on it. And if we do, we make them come back in and put another nail by it if it's set too deep in the, in the wood. Well, they're stretching the six inch. The biggest thing is so they understand nail patterns. If we're, we tell them six inch on the seams, we want them to understand that six inches is the max spacing, five inches would be okay. And then in the field, same thing. Um, if we tell them eight to 10, if they do it seven and nine, we're okay with that. That's not a, a big problem. Um, the whole idea is the gapping between the plywood. Uh, if it does get wet, then if it swells, it's not buckling plywood. So we make sure they use a 16 penny nail as a gap between those. Uh, again, this is all a sheer wall. So everything has to be nailed nice and tight. We verify all corners are plumb before they even start running plywood on them. And uh, that keeps the whole building nice and square and plump. So yeah, you just kind of go around the bottom and because a lot of your nails are seven, eight inches on the bottom too. So our inspections are every detail of the building. No matter what they do before they can go to the next phase in our construction schedule, they have to have an inspection done by us and signed off. So everything from start to finish on this building is going to be inspected. Like Double check the nails right here. See, when they get too close to the edge like yeah, that, they're not out. really holding anything. They're just blowing out the plywood. So put a nail beside it and just re-nail it. Okay. Like that one up there. So just check that seam to see if the nail's correct. All right. 